Well, hello, dear friends. Pastor Josh here with you for another Devotions from the Grove. Uh, it is so good when we have a chance to come together and uh, share in this time. So this, I want to do something a little different with you this week. Um, mainly because as I was thinking about what to do for a devotion, I got to thinking about where I spent a lot of my week last week, and that was in immersed in what God has called me to do. Uh, God has called me to be a pastor in the church. He's led me, and uh, in that process, I seek to be ordained by the church. And so this week, I spent a lot of time in Scripture and my own faith journey and, and where that's taken me. Uh, and as I do often, I come to this space right? Our beautiful space that we have here. And I will find myself just hearing God in this place as I walk this church, as I feel the presence of God. And then oftentimes I'll, I'll go out and I'll, I'll walk around the church and look at its beauty, the beauty that he's given us. And so I wanted to take you on that journey with me today as I am feeling, feeling the presence of God so much at work in me. This is the place that we gather on Sunday morning. This sanctuary here, this place with its stained glass windows, this place where we hear God's music played through our piano and our organ, and then ultimately this place where we hear his word preached. We hear the message that is inspired by him. We come to this very cross as a sinner saved by grace. This is a place that we gathered just a couple weeks ago as we broke bread together. And I, I feel so humbled, as I, as I put in my paper, I feel humbled every time that I come to the, the Lord's table, not only as a Christian, because I truly believe that the body and blood of Christ are present in that meal, but as a pastor to raise that bread up, to break it, to give thanks like Jesus did that night. And to do the same thing with the cup and then to share that with each and every person that is in this place. It is a humbling moment. It is a moment of God's hands at work. And so I will often come and just sit in this sanctuary, this place of love, this place where faith journeys have happened, where your faith journey may have started, where your faith journey may continue day after day. You see, no matter who we are, we are called by God, not just called to be a pastor, but we are called, some of us as teachers, some as businessmen, some as farmers, some as grandparents and parents. But no matter what the call is, it is given by God. And as a pastor, I am called to preach his word, to serve as a servant. And that's what I've reflected on. I've reflected on so many different passages this week. Uh, the, the most that sticks out to me, and I've, I've mentioned this during revival, is Joshua 24, 15, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That doesn't just apply to me and my own home with my family, but as a pastor here in God's house, right? Here in this place, I will serve the Lord with all my heart. And 
I know that there are times in life where we wonder and we don't necessarily know what God's plan is, but we know that his plan is always for us. We may not like it, we may not agree with it all the time, but whatever we have going on in life, from this place here that we have faith stories of, a place where we journey through, from this place on the inside where we come and sing and praise and worship together to this place on the outside. This place that we call Hedrick's Grove is a place that I have been touched by a place that I know I have been called to. It's a place where maybe you've been called to, in one way or another, to serve in one way or another. Maybe you serve on the consistory or on a committee. Maybe you help lead the youth. Know that it is all ordained and called and commissioned by God, a God who loves you, a God who cares about you, who never forsakes you, will never walk away from you. I think sometimes we often find a time of devotion is this time where we come and we find those things that are wrong in our lives and we seek out a passage that brings it all into perspective. But for me, the perspective of a called to ministry is a perspective of a place like Hedrick's Grove, a faith community, a community of love and respect, a place that even at our lowest moments we can come, a place where at our highest moments we can go, a place that not only welcomes but nurtures. You see, Jesus walked this earth with us. He walked and he taught us and he led us. He reminded us so much of those things that God has laid out for us, the plans that he has for us, the ways that we should live our lives. And this ministry that God calls me to is a ministry of love and service. It is a ministry that I can often turn around and look at and, and see this church and know that I'm called, called to serve him. All of you have been a part of that call. And while I don't know what the final word on my ordination is or where that is at, I can say thank you to each and every one of you. Whether you're a member of Hedrick's Grove and, or you're watching this and you're somebody who I've had the chance to be a pastor to at another congregation, you've been a part of this call much like I've been a part of your call. And so for that, I am most grateful. When we have moments in life that we're anxious, moments in life where we are troubled, we turn to God. We give those things to him. I'm reminded of a passage from Romans, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm one that shall proclaim it from this day and forevermore. That we live through faith and not by sight. And that we are a sinner saved by grace, a grace freely given to us. All of these things accumulate for us, for, for me and for you alike. 
as we come together as brothers and sisters in Christ. We're called to serve, called to minister, called to be children of God. And so that's more so maybe this was a walk of faith for, for me to bring you along on. But it was one that has been weighing on me today as I spent time reflecting on ministry and God's word and his, his call and, and scripture. I felt very compelled to be in this place. This place here that we call Hedrick's Grove, a place that we call home a place that has strengthened a lot of us, a place where memories are made, God's word is preached, his music is sung, but most importantly, this is the place where you and I you and I feel Jesus walk with us. So take that with you this week as you finish your week out, as you maybe are starting your week, as you go through this week. Know that you are a called child of God. Whatever that calling is, you know what it is. You know how to serve in that call. And when you find moments where you're anxious, you find moments where you're scared, you find moments where you just don't know if God is there, trust in him. Trust in him as your Lord and your Savior. Trust in him as your rock and your Redeemer. Lay everything at the foot of the cross. Let Jesus take that cross and raise it. Let him take that cross and forgive you of your sin, cleanse you in the living waters, and ultimately give you that place where you have eternal life. Thanks for taking some time to walk with me today on this walk that I often find myself doing. I pray that God will watch over you that God will heal you, and that God will protect you. Until we see each other again, I hope you have a most, most blessed day. Bye for now.